Recently, someone who wants to become an au pair contacted me and asked me about the certain family that they were speaking to and wanted to know if they were legit or not. He said that there's just this feeling that something isn't right and so he came to me and asked me for my help. There were some documents that the person had sent with him in the email and he forwarded them to me and from the moment I saw them, I knew that this was a scam. It makes me so mad that there's people out in the world that do like this and I knew that I needed to make a video about it because I didn't want this happening to anyone else because I have so much love for this program and I didn't want any of you being the next victim. In this video, I'm going to show you what to look out for when someone contacts you about becoming an au pair, as well as how to avoid falling for the au pair scam. We've all been there, hearing about this amazing thing called au pairing and we still we don't exactly know what it is. So we try and find out all this information just so that we could figure out how do we go about it? How do I become an au pair? And hopefully we're looking in the right places. But in life, there's always going to be someone who wants to take advantage of the young or the uninformed. But today, we put a stop to that. Let me start off by showing you the email that I received and using it as an example to show you all the signs that this is a scam. So I'm going to read the email that I got and for privacy purposes, I'm gonna call this guy, John. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Brope, I hope you're well. My name is John, I'm living in Turkey, I'm 25 years old and my gender is male. I've just graduated from university. I sent this email for some questions. I found a host family from Houston that we agreed all issue and I decided that I will come to USA. The host family directed me to their agency. Suspicious. But I have some suspect about the agency. Nice. Well done, John. The agency wanted... $800 for preparing all the documents. Suspicious. What can I do to ensure about the agency? And who should I send money to? And my personal information. So our friend John contacted the US consular in Turkey and they said that they're closed right now and he told this information to the family and asked them how will he get a visa. The family said to him that they'll be doing all the documents there as well as getting him an H-1B visa. 100%, if you had some sort of suspicion, now I have no suspicion whatsoever. This is 100% a scam because to be an au pair in America, it's a J-1 visa, not an H-1B visa. And he attached the documents which the agency sent him and he asked me to look at those documents. So let's look at the documents. Okay, firstly, we have document number one, and I'm going to be telling you exactly everything that's wrong with these documents. Okay, firstly, these are all images, they're not even PDFs. First thing. Next, the top of the form, it says United State Visa Application Form. <clears throat> then it's so blurry. I don't know if I said that yet. Number three, blurry. Another thing, it says there, if married woman, give maiden name. I never saw that in any documents that I had to submit when I was becoming an au pair. It's just the, the verbiage that's used. It, that's the one thing that makes me think that this is suspicious. I don't know what number we're on, but it says current home address and telephone number. On a form, those things would not be together. It's asking you about a US resident status. You're trying to get into America. How would you have a residency status? And you can't be an American au pair in America because it's a cultural exchange program. It also says date of marriage to you. Like, dude, like if you're trying to scam someone, put more effort into it. Okay, let's move on to page number two. Um, I don't see anything here yet. It's still, it's blurry. Nothing looks too suspicious on you. Or except for like there at the bottom where it's, don't write in this space, it's for official use only. There's zeros in the spaces for the officials to write. Your form would not come pre-filled in, especially if it's anything official. Well, at least the date's in the right format where it goes for America, it's month, month, day, day, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I don't really see anything 
on the second form, anything else. So let's go to the third image. There is a lot wrong with this one. Firstly, there's two seals. Like how dumb can you be? Like there's two seals on the form. Firstly, 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 if you look at the form, it is cropped terribly. Like if you look on the left hand side, that little bit of margin before the text starts and the, on the right hand side, it's a lot larger. Forms would be aligned properly. Yeah, you know, the aligning is completely off if you actually look at it. There's the two seals. What else can we see? Where it says there US Citizenship and Immigration Service. That's kind of the right name. I think it's Immigration Services. I'm, I'm not too sure on that. But the S in the US, it's small. It should be large or either it should be capitalized or it should say United States. So it's Citizenship and Immigration Service. So there's another thing there. Where it says their visa and immigration, the and is not bold for some reason. What else can we see? National ID number, phone number, email address. Everything is just like so cramped and there's like not even any space for you to write anything. There, there's a big one. If married, name of wife. It would not be that way on a form. It would say like name of spouse, something like that. Number of kid. Are you seeing that? Like, it's so bad. Wife's present occupation. Wife's job location. No. And then their embassy stamp right at the bottom. Like, no. Then it says visa applicant signature. There's no line for the signature on the bottom right. And then the, the date format, bottom left, it's day, day, month, month, year, 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 year. No, America, it's the month first, then the day. And then bottom left, embassy agent signature, there's no line for the, where the signature must be on, on top of. So there's a lot wrong with these documents. Now, here are some signs that the people you are speaking to are trying to scam you. Number one, they don't want to video call with you. Think of it this way. If you're going to have this au pair coming and living in your house and looking after your kids, would you not want to see what they actually look like and kind of see their personality face to face in a sense? Of course you would. So why would you refuse to do a video interview? Like, no, that's the biggest red flag. And we all know that au pairs do Skype interviews and it's one of the scariest things in the whole process. And how many videos have I done on that topic? Why would I do that topic if it just wasn't necessary? Of course it's necessary. Number two, they ask for a lot of money up front. You saw this in the example, in John's example, they asked for like $800. No, you don't have to pay any family any money. If you are going to be an au pair in America and you join an agency, yes, you will pay an agency fee or a program fee to the agency but you will never have to pay any money to any family whatsoever. They say that they have friends who can help you with the documents or help you get your visa. No, no one's going to help you do anything. If you join to an agency, then yes, the agency will assist, but no friends are going to help you do anything. No. If there's just general bad grammar or typos in the forms that they sent you, or that the forms look weird, like they're not aligned and just like one too many seals, etc. like I pointed out earlier. No. They say to you that, oh, you don't need to be joined to any agency. No, of course you do. If you're going to be an au pair in America, you have to join an American au pair agency, a registered one. If you're going to be an au pair in other countries, then yeah, you don't really need to be with an agency. But for America, yes, you do. Host families are the ones that can change agencies. I've seen it a lot where they will change an agency for the right or pair for them. You as the or pair do not need to be changing agencies whatsoever. If they ask you to change agencies, don't. If something sounds too good to be true. In life, this is usually the case.
This may come in the form of the host family saying that, oh, you'll only work a few days a week and you'll have a ton of off time and you'll be making a lot of money. Let me let you in on a little secret. Au pairs are broke. All au pairs are broke. We don't make a lot of money. It's a cultural exchange program. It's not a career. That's why we don't make a lot of money. And secondly, majority of au pairs I know work their asses off and they don't have a lot of free time. If you ever have any doubt about an agency, about a host family, about anything in the whole process of becoming an au pair, please get in contact with me and I will be sure to help you out. Especially if someone's trying to scam you. I do not want you to be scammed. And if you're still new to the idea of becoming an au pair, then I will link up here and in the description below my how to become an au pair video. And you can see the exact process of how to become an au pair in America or other countries in the world. So definitely watch that video after you give this one a like. So that's it for this video. I hope that it helps to educate and prevent future people from falling victims to these au pair scams. Please give this video a like so that it can be picked up in the algorithm and be shown to as many people as possible so that no one gets scammed ever again. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you and make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future videos regarding becoming an au pair, being an au pair, everything au pair. <laughs> I hope that you have a great day and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.